Yo, 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 what is it? You already know what it is, man. This is your man, LaVon. Coming back one more again, man, on this Faith Over Fear Friday, you did. Today, we're going to be talking about now peace. See, we've heard about now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. That now faith, not yesterday, not soon to come or maybe to come, but that right now faith. Well, today, we're going to be talking about right now peace. You did? Let's get into it. But before we get into the video, please like, please share this video with all your families and friends, and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel to grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. So now that's out of the way, let's get into this now peace. So what is peace, man? Peace is a quietness. It's a stillness. It is a, a comfort that comes over you like a wave. It quiets all the noise. It brings a stillness to the busyness of life. And it allows you to breathe and rest. That is peace. The comfort in knowing that no matter what happens, God is with us. He's with us to empower us, to equip us, but yet to give us a quietness so we can hear his commands and hear his voice and hear what he wants us to do. And it gives us a stillness so that in all of the busy and running around and all of the anxiety and things that we're trying to accomplish, he gives us a stillness to where we can just be still and rest in him. That's the peace of God, right? But have you ever heard of a now peace? Have you ever heard of that peace being right now? See, we pray for it. We ask for it. Um, and then when we receive it, right? We don't always hold on to it. But that's not what the scripture says. Today, we're going to talk about what the scripture says about now peace. And it's coming out of 2 Thessalonians, the third chapter and the 16th verse. You did? Now, I don't know how other folks may read this, but the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me was this. It says, now, not yesterday, not tomorrow, not sometime in the future, but now, right? What is now? Right now, in the very present tense, right now, it's a present tense right? It says, now the Lord of peace himself wait a minute, rewind the Lord of peace himself who is the Lord of peace? Jesus Christ the Lord of peace the, the Lord over peace the master of peace when you're Lord of something and master of something, that means you have authority over that thing okay? You have complete authority so now, right now, present tense, the Lord of peace, which is Jesus Christ himself, not a representative, not someone that's coming in his steed, not someone that's speaking on his behalf, but the Lord of peace himself give you peace, not has given, not will give, but give you, give you present tense, right now, give you peace. The Lord of peace, the master of peace himself, give you peace by all means. He says, give you peace always. Let's not miss that. The Lord of peace himself, give you peace always by all means. Always. That means we always have it. It's like, it's like, it's like <laughs> Jesus is not saying, hey, I'm the master of peace, but I'm going to send someone in my steed to give you peace, right? It's just, it's just as good to do the same thing, right? But doesn't it hold a different kind of weight in your spirit when God says, I am the master of peace. 
I am the Lord of peace. And I'm not just going to send someone to give you something. I'm not just going to send a representative to give you something and send someone that I have authorized, you know, in my name to give you something. But I myself am going to give it to you. I'm going to give you what I master of. It's kind of like a debit card, right? It's like, <laughs> it's like, God is not going to send it to you in the mail. He's not going to deliver it to you by a courier or send a representative. No, God himself is going to come and give you this debit card of peace, right? <laughs> and he's going to give it to you and you're going to have it always. It's not going to run out. It doesn't have a time limit. It doesn't have an expiration date. Uh, um, you know, anything like that is not based upon a contract as far as you know, dealing with time. I give you peace always. That means once I give it to you, you always going to have it. Long as you're in me, depending on me, you're always going to have it. It's never going to go away. It's never going to dissipate. It's never going to disappear. You can't lose it. I give it to you. You're going to have it always. You did. And by all means, that means by every avenue, by every um, opportunity, by every door, window, by every means that God can give you peace, you're going to have it at your disposal. Isn't that a beautiful thing, right? Not tomorrow peace, not Peace, I needed yesterday, God, but, you know, today, you know, now it's past. No, he's going to give us a right now peace that we'll have always. You dig? Is that not something to rejoice about? Is that not something to praise God about? Right? Not only do I have a now faith, but he's given me a, a now peace. Wow, that's incredible. Anyway. This is your man, LaVon. This has been LaVon Says. Just want to come on this Faith Over Fear Friday and give y'all hot off the press what God has given me. You dig? Don't mean to run on. Don't mean to repeat myself over and over. But I want to make sure that I'm clear and that you get the point is maybe the reason why I go over things several times. Anyway, be blessed on today. One love. This is your man, LaVon. This is LaVon Says. Again, please like the video, share the video with your family and friends, and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified upon any video content that's uploaded. One love. I'm out.